Hello everybody. Thank you so much for joining us today here at FFG Live. We're very excited to come to you today to talk more about Star Wars Unlimited. And I'm Josh. I'm joined by Tyler Parrott, who we've all met. Who is also Danny Schaefer. No. Yes. Uh, yes, hello, I'm <laughs> Tyler. Uh, I'm one of the game designers on Star Wars Unlimited. And I'm gonna be very deliberate here. Danny. Schaefer, so that there's no confusion. It's not Daddy Schaefer. This is Danny Schaefer, <laughs> who is our lead game designer for Star Wars Unlimited. I, I We've been at this for 30 seconds. <laughs> I, hey, I had to call it out because last stream there was a lot of confusion, supposedly. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Danny Schaefer. How's it going, everyone? <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to start out a little bit differently because one of the three of us just got back from Spiel out in Germany. Yeah. So but Danny, which one? crap! I just ruined it by saying your name. <laughs> it's fine. We were very conspicuously looking at you. Yeah, it was me. Yeah. Uh, so tell me a little bit about yesterday. it. Yeah. How was, it was the experience? It was tons of fun. Um, got to meet a ton of fans from all over Europe. Uh, got to watch a ton of demos played. Uh, signed a lot of Luke and Vader promo cards. I heard. <laughs> uh, yeah, but it was a great time. Uh, we announced the release date at Spiel, so people finally got to know when it is. It's uh, March of 24, which yep. is really cool to talk about. Beginning um, of March. Yeah, yeah. Even early better. March. Even better. Yeah, the pre-release is almost in February, but not Almost, but not, not just barely. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, it was a great time. Really great just meeting the fans and playing the game and, and seeing everyone over there in Europe. Nice. Yeah. Cool. Well, we're glad to have you back. I apologize for having the stream so closely to when you got back. There might still be a little bit of jet lag. So forgive Danny if there's any like nodding off happening. If I'm sure it will asleep. But just in case, just in case there's a good reason we, for we it. Got a, we got a little thing of water to dump on. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Perfect. All right, great. So now let's talk about what we're here to talk about today. Let's talk about aggression. So we're gonna talk about aggression. I'm gonna let you two jump into it, but I do want everybody to know that as always, we're gonna have an article going live very shortly with all this information as well, if you do miss part of this or if you just wanna read up on it as well. Some people like to read, in fact. I, yeah, I mean, reading is great. It's very important. Reading is great. <laughs> but tell me about aggression. Uh, so aggression is uh, one of our six aspects, or four aspects, depending on how you like to categorize your cards. Uh, it is uh, the aspect of direct action. Uh, the cards in aggression are going to be all about saying, what do you want to do? And then they're just going to do it. 
It's about really getting up in your opponent's face. It's about really having a plan and executing on it as effectively and immediately as possible. Mm -hmm. um, and it's about getting any obstacles that are in your way out of your way. Because red wants to do what, whatever red wants to do, it's just going to do it as directly and efi efficiently and effectively as possible. Right. We yeah. just actually showed a piece of art that yeah. is that in a nutshell. <laughs> like, Kylo Ren does what Kylo Ren wants, and he's when just going Kylo to do it, it when he wants to do it. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. And anyone who's going to so get in the, the way perfect description. isn't. <laughs> yes. <laughs> he's going to throw a tantrum, and they'll get out of the uh -huh. way. Uh -huh. Exactly. Yeah. Yep. Exactly. 100%. <laughs> um, uh, in practice, uh, a lot of what Red's color pie is going to look like is damage. Uh, mm -hmm. Because so much of this game revolves around uh, what, how much damage you deal and to what. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, and uh, we've got a couple leaders to show off that we've already showed, yes. but yeah, yeah. that deal very heavily in <laughs> dealing damage. Yes, um, these are actually great representations of what aggression is about. Uh, Sabine just says, "I want to put damage on your base. I'm just going to do it. There's mm -hmm. nothing yep. you can do about it. It's just going to happen." Yep. Um, and uh, the Grand Inquisitor says, I want to attack you with this unit, and it's just going to happen. There's nothing you can do about it. Yeah, and I'll deal some damage to the unit in the meantime. Yeah, whatever, that's yeah, fine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this, it, it damage isn't, you know, it's, it's a cost. Everyone has to yeah. pay a cost for something, right? I don't want to pay money. Yeah, I want to pay, yeah. I want to pay your health. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> your health is the cost for my effect. Um, so uh, this is a card we've already shown, um, but perhaps it's very emblematic of what Red wants to do. Mm -hmm. uh, if Red wants to deal damage, it's just going to play open fire, and it's going to yeah. say, I want this much damage right there, and it's just going to happen. Yep, I uh, had a lot of Luke Skywalkers get open fired over the weekend. <laughs> I bet you did. <laughs> and I really wish there was something I could do about it, but it's Red. It's Nothing Red, yeah. Yep. Right. That's, that's the idea anyway. Uh, yeah, another card that deals damage to units, uh, Fallen Lightsaber. Yeah. Yeah, very... Uh, Spreading the damage out, kind of controlling the board a little, a little bit. Uh, so people talk about red as like the aggro color, mm -hmm. but it also is like it can be a very good control color. So many yeah. ways to take out units, uh, so much removal through that damage. Yeah, uh, and and that's kind of again we come back to the idea that red has a plan and wants to execute on it. That plan might be win the game by attacking mm -hmm. your base, and it also might be not losing the game by killing all your units. Yeah, yeah, for um, sure. But for those that do want to win the game by attacking your base, uh, sometimes, we've seen it on Sabine, uh, now Sabine has some friends uh, in the Fighters for Freedom, which is a rebel that deals damages to bases. It just says, do the red thing and get the red payoff. <laughs> yeah. yep. And don't, don't have blockers. Yeah, we heard you like red, so... We made sure you got extra red. <laughs> yeah, all yeah. the red you want. So just so you're all aware, we could have ended the stream as soon as Tyler said, it's red. You want to do the thing, you do the thing. But we wanted to show you some cards. So we're just expanding on the do the thing. Well, but and it's also, like, there's common. a lot of things that Red can do, right? That, that's fair. That's like, fair. But it's all so far, it's just been, oh, you want to do the thing, do the thing. It, it, there's no stopping it. Just keep going. Yeah. yeah. I love it. I love it. Uh, so we talked about damage to units, damage to base. But one thing Red doesn't like to do is having to choose between damage to units or damage <laughs> oh, to base. Geez. Yeah. <laughs> Good so segue. Sometimes you have cards like Wampa. We just get to do both. Yeah. It's got overwhelm. When it attacks enemy unit, it also deals damage to the enemy base. And 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 best yeah. of both worlds. Uh, so so red, from a mechanical color pie perspective, uh, gets access to overwhelm and saboteur a lot. We've just saw it in the last two units. Yeah. Um, both of those keywords say that sentinel is not a relevant card yeah. in this game. Uh, saboteur just says we're just going to pretend like sentinel doesn't exist, and overwhelm says. Cool, I just step on you and keep going. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah. That, that gets at the, the red, like, you don't get to block me because you don't get to be in my way because I'm just going to do what yeah, I want to do. exactly. That's, those are some nice shields you got. It would be a yeah. shame if somebody <laughs> sabotaged them. something happened to them. <laughs> uh, so we're talking about damage with red, but as we said, there are a lot of things that red wants to do and just does right away. Mm -hmm. um, an example that people might not think of immediately is card draw. What? Agro yeah. Agro decks don't get card draw. What are you talking about? Uh, in Unlimited, they do. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, All red right. is the color of, if I'm going to draw cards, I'm going to do it right now, right away, as many cards as I can. Uh, I'm not going to have the long-term, you know, slowly draw cards thing. No, it's, no, no. We don't want to play a card that draws me two cards. 
Great. Things like that, yeah. Things like that. All right. Uh, the other thing that Red likes to do is attack. I don't know if you know that That's attacking true. is the main mechanic of this game. Do you know that attacking deals damage? Attacking does deal damage. <laughs> not uh, when I do it. I don't know. I'm doing something wrong. Yeah, I think, I think you need to read your cards better. <laughs> okay. Uh, we've already seen, we're going to bring him back up. Uh, the Grand Inquisitor is a leader that readies units. Uh, readying units is a red thing because red says, I want to attack you, and I don't want to have to wait for next round to attack you. I want to attack you now. Uh, and sometimes that means I play a card and I ready it and I attack you. And sometimes it means I attack you with a unit and then I ready him and I attack you again. Because I don't yeah. want to wait, I just want to attack you a lot, as many times as I can. Um, and uh, related, uh, red is also the color of having a big power number. Because if red yeah. wants to do damage, red wants to do a lot of damage. Um, and the keyword that adds the most power to units is grit. Uh, sure, you, you, might have in, you might have intuited that, that uh, Red and or, uh, or at least the cards that would go with the Grand Inquisitor would want to have grit. Yep. And lo and behold, red gets grit. So it's just in the same color as the Grand Inquisitor. He's going to deal damage to the unit. He's going to stand him up. They're going to be better. They're going to punch harder. Everybody wins. Yeah. Except the opponent. Well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I win. <laughs> Everybody who's playing red right now wins. Got it. Yep. Yep. Um, another thing red can do, uh, again, in the spirit of taking action, getting rid of uh, all the obstacles in their way, is red can defeat upgrades, uh, going kind of along with the saboteur keyword as well, which defeats shields. Uh, red also has the ability to just straight up defeat enemy upgrades. Uh, as on Disabling Fang Fighter, that's a three cost, three two Mandalorian vehicle fighter uh, that when played, you may defeat an upgrade. Yeah, uh, so no other color defeats upgrades directly, right? Um, every, all the other colors have a way to deal with upgrades, right? right. Blue can... Uh, defeat the unit that it's on. Yellow can return the yeah. unit to your hand, which then defeats the upgrade. Uh, green, green can just play a just bigger big. unit. Yeah, green is just big, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> um, but red says, uh, uh, "I need that upgrade gone, and I don't want to jump through any extra hoops to make it happen. So we're just gonna delete button." Yeah, delete. Yeah, button it's very nice upgrade. for red because again, their main way of dealing with units is dealing damage. So units with a bunch of shields or a bunch of extra health from upgrades can be uh, can be tough for Red to deal with otherwise. Yeah. So sometimes you deal four damage to the unit, it doesn't die, and then you're like, cool, I'm going to play this Fang Fighter, and I'm going to delete that up that uh, lightsaber that you're holding, and oh, no, how unfortunate, I guess you're dead yeah. now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, that is, in short, most of what Red can do. Yeah. Right? But we all came here for a game. Yes, because we all like absolutely. Games. We fell in love with the game last time. We got to do the so game. So let's play again. a game. How do we how do we feel about a game, audience? Do you want to play a game? We want to do the same game we did last time. But what if we had better art? I mean, <laughs> yeah. Because now we've shown off what the uh, the Actually, hyperspace cards better are. Better art. I mean, it's great art. Better graphic design. Fair. Yes. <laughs> yes. Because <laughs> now that we've shown off what the hyperspace cards are. The best art. Yeah. I'm so, about to show you the reddest card you've ever seen. Yes, so let's look at the most red card in the world. Just like last time, we're blocking out the lines. So we want you, as our community, to start guessing what you think these four lines are. As we see it come across in the chat, we will have it revealed on the card. Okay. Yeah. Oh, wow. Uh, Somebody thinks that they have all of them. Yeah, they've been, th they've been thinking about this since yeah, last week. Yeah, fair. They've been like, what's Red going to do? Uh, I see draw a card, ding, 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 top line. Yeah, I see, yeah, draw okay. two cards. I see, there's a Ooh, lot four, of stuff I going on in here. deal four damage to a unit. Deal four damage to a unit. Deal hey, four damage we did to it. a unit. That's the bottom one. Whoa. Okay, well, there's, there yep, there's one and four. There might be there's a pattern defeat emerging. an upgrade. I see. Ah, uh, but we can do better than defeat one upgrade. We, we can. We can defeat two upgrades. Yep, yep. Oh man, next week's going to be, they're just going to have it all figured out beforehand. <laughs> they're, they're getting good at this. I see deal three damage, three damage to a unit. Not, not quite there. There's, We're there's something. Pretty close. Yep. Someone there is pretty yeah. close. Uh, ah, ready? There, with yeah, there, there it is. is. <laughs> so uh, they figured out that, that three or less power is a very nice, safe. Uh, condition yeah. to put on a card so you're not just like instant winning the game. Yeah, and it was great because you actually helped me remember the order of these by saying they're one, two, three, and four. It's, it's, it's very, perfect. It's very it was clean. very it easy to see those come through and know clean. which ones were revealed. So yeah, that is aggression. 
Uh, we're very excited for Aggression. I mean, just like all of the other like dual aspect cards. Like, oh I yeah, think the the cards that reward you for going hard on the single color. Yeah, they're yeah. really good. Yeah, they're, they're very strong. <laughs> yeah. So and very clearly from looking at that card versus the other cards, it is just nope. Do the thing. Do the thing. Do the thing. Do the thing. Uh, aggression, I think, has the fewest words on it yes. of, the, of all yeah. the cards in the cycle. Single lines of text. <laughs> yeah, our graphic designer had to shrink everything down because the last card was like multiple lines of text per bullet. Yeah. So, so yes, this is aggression. Yeah. We're very excited for aggression. We're very fast at getting through yes. all of the things that aggression does. <laughs> aggression is also aggression very fast. fast. Yes, color. that is true. Aggression and is very fast. I will say, because of this stream. And as an athlete back in high school, clearly not anymore. But I've had the be aggressive, be e aggressive, got to be e agent. Like I've had why, that in my head for the more. entire week. <laughs> now you have subjected all of us to it. You're welcome. <laughs> all right. So that is aggression, but that is not the end of what we wanted to talk about today. We've got just a couple things to close up the stream with. Uh, we haven't seen any questions pop up because. Aggression doesn't create questions. It's direct. It's straightforward. <laughs> the answers are there. It doesn't create the, questions. It answers them. It, it, yeah. ooh, <laughs> I like that. I should have gone with that. Um, but yeah, we wanted to talk to you a little bit about uh, things that are upcoming. Obviously, you know that we have more streams coming. But we want to talk to you about our next events. We were at Gen Con. I say we. You were out of town for Gen Con. You didn't yeah. get to go to Spiel. Like, we need to get you to an event. I agree. And you we're going to talk about to that. <laughs> hmm. So let's see. What events are we heading to next? So later this month, what, a week and a half? Let, yeah. This, yeah. No, I'm, leaving in a week. I'm leaving like eight days from now. So we will be at TwitchCon. So we're going to have some support there. We're going to be doing some demos. You're obviously going to be there talking to people about the game. Xander from our team is going to be there. Casey's going to be there. It's just, we'll it's going to be a party. We'll do a, we'll do a, a streamed panel, I think. Yep. And panel. Yep. In air quotes. It's, it's mostly, a panel. <laughs> it's, yeah. We get to talk. Me and Xander get to have a nice, nice discussion. Yep. And then the following week for our Chilean fans, uh, we will be at Comic-Con in Chile. So we meaning all three we, of us in this. No, yeah, yeah, right definitely. Now. We Definitely won't be there. Three Sorry. Of us will be there. <laughs> we will not be there. Star Wars Unlimited will be there, though. They will be running demos for the we fans tried. that want to play the demo <laughs> in Spanish in Chile. And then um, we will be doing demos again, maybe not we, but at Luca <laughs> Game Festival in Italy. So for our Italian fans that didn't make it to Spiel, because I know a lot of just Europe goes to Spiel. Yeah, but for those people that couldn't, fans there. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and are in Italy, you can go to Luca, um, and that will be the first weekend of next month, I believe. Yeah, that's the first weekend of November, yeah. and then a month later, this one is for you. What was it? X Riley one one nine asked me in Discord. <laughs> so this believe, one's for you. <laughs> I can't believe that Josh is going to go out of his way to answer one question hey, from one person on the that, live stream. <laughs> honestly, like I've been wanting to do this, but it was that one question that one day that was just like, why don't we just do it all at once? Let's just go. <laughs> yeah, sure, so sure. thanks, X Riley 119 whoever you are. Uh, but yeah, we will be at PAX Unplugged as well. And when I say we, I mean... Definitely me, some of the other marketing team, I don't know who from your side is going at this point yet. We'll figure that out. But yeah, we will be doing demos at PAX Unplugged as well. So yeah, very yeah. excited for our upcoming events. That's what we got slated through the end of the year. Doesn't mean that that's the end, so stay tuned for <laughs> even more. Um, but yeah, I don't have anything else for the stream. If, I mean, again, this is yeah. the most direct, straightforward <laughs> aspect we got. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I see was, you watching I was the skimming, chat. I was skimming the, the, the chat for questions, and someone was like, oh, when do we get a Mace Windu leader? I'm like, eventually. Yeah. <laughs> Mace I Windu mean, it's unit. all we got a Mace Windu potentially unit. eventually, right? Oh, potentially eventually. Potentially eventually. My dude, you have no idea how excited for the like weird corners of Star Wars <laughs> that, I have get, that I get to play with right now in the future. Nice, nice. Yeah. Well, I'm looking forward to it. I, I know some of the weirdness that you have talked about in the past. I'm looking forward to them to figure it out. I cannot wait for them to see it. And I can't I'm, wait for them to see this set that they haven't even seen all of yet. Right. I mean, we're doing more and more every live stream. Yeah. Speaking and of like live streams, every few days. we're going to be back in two weeks. 
But oh, not yeah. them. We. Yeah, the you keep saying we. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, um, for those that want more Star Wars Unlimited content, obviously keep following us on socials and go to StarWarsUnlimited.com. But in two weeks, Xander and I are going to be talking a lot more about organized play and what you can look forward to for the competitive scene. So, yeah. yeah. There's, a, there's an audience that's going to be very excited for that. Uh, so they should get their answers, too. I mean, I'm excited about that, too. So I am, too. Yeah. Yeah. All right, great. Well, for those that we see then, we'll see you then. For everybody else, thanks for joining, and we'll see you next time. Did we talk about the cunning aspect stream? We didn't talk about that yet. That's Ooh. next month. We should probably mention that it exists. All right, yeah. it's going to happen. I mean, they assumed it, but maybe we could like pull a fast one on them. That's fair. It is cunning, after all. (laughs) Right. Cunning is just hiding (laughs) behind a corner. It's never going to reveal itself. It's either going to reveal itself next week or two months from now. (laughs) Yeah, that will be for next month. So, yes, that will be upcoming as well. Yeah, really looking forward to that one. Yep. My favorite cunning card got spoiled earlier this week. Yeah. Yeah, Millennium Falcon. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Four, Four days ago, two days ago. Yep. I don't know what time is anymore. <laughs> oh, yeah. Right. You, you you're in still German tomorrow time travel right now. Yeah, like. I, f- I was on a plane for like 20 hours, and then I got here before I left or something. Right, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Weirdness. <laughs> all right. Well, thank all you right. all again. Thank you, and we'll see you next time. Bye.